Friday the 13th defined the slasher. Sure, it was trying to piggyback on the success of Halloween, a movie that itself was taking heavy inspiration from Black Christmas, but it was Friday that really solidified the tropes that we all know and maybe love from the genre. But despite that, the franchise seems to have run out of creative steam almost as soon as it began. So I'm wondering, in our age of legacy sequels, is there room for another Friday the 13th movie? That's what I'm working through here. Let's do this. Okay, internet. To talk about the future of a franchise like Friday the 13th, I think first you gotta talk about how it started. As I said, the film was made to cash in on the success of John Carpenter's Halloween. Sean Cunningham has said he ran an ad announcing the movie before it was even written, both to build hype and to make sure nobody got the name first. <laughs> Baller move, honestly. And Sean called me up and said, um, Halloween is making incredible money at the box office, let's rip it off. That is keeping it real. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take out an ad in Variety and put it at the top from the people who brought you Last House on the Left comes the most terrifying film ever made. And the first Friday really wears its inspirations on its sleeve. Not only Halloween, but Psycho, one of the other proto-slashers that came before. It's the setting that really brought its own freshness to the movie. While summer camps are a horror cliche now, it wasn't back then. Honestly, I don't know if it had been done before at all, but this movie put it on the map before running it right into the ground. I also find it interesting that it wasn't until the third movie that the franchise finally built its whole iconography out. That's where we get Hockey Mask Jason for the first time, and Jason himself wasn't the killer in the original. It's crazy how these movies were reinventing themselves as they went, while still going hard on the sexy teens at the lake thing that felt tired by the time the original run of four films ended. Since then, Friday the 13th has had revivals and reboots, and as you'd expect, both quickly ran out of things to say. So that brings me back to the question, what does it have to say now? With Halloween's return in 2018, they built it on the foundation of Laurie Strode being haunted by her past and it coming back together. You see that same kind of thing in the latest Texas Chainsaw, and even Exorcist the Believer, but it doesn't really work with Friday. None of the original final girls in this franchise have the iconic lasting power of Lori. I'm sure hardcore fans have their favorites, but that doesn't have the cultural cachet needed. I think the closest thing they have to this in the franchise would be Tommy Doyle, and it's honestly a well that they've visited a few too many times if you ask me to make it worthwhile to do as a legacy sequel again. The easiest thing would be just to reboot the whole thing. You could easily set it in the present day or a nostalgic 80s or even 90s setting, really focus on a few interesting, relatable characters who subvert the expectations of stock characters Friday is known for, so you are invested in rooting for them. The problem is, even if you do all of that, you are still dealing with the fact that you are making a summer camp slasher film and risk running into the same cliches as other imitators or the 2009 reboot. Alternatively, you could go with a bit of a meta route, dealing with a copycat killer on some anniversary. Scream is a series built on copycats, reflecting on itself, so it's possible. Personally, I would go with less of a commentary on slashers and horror as a whole, like Scream has done, and do something more on our real-world relationship to tragedy. Topics of performative grief, centering yourself in someone else's tragedy, and how the internet has warped our views on real-life atrocities. But does that really feel like Friday the 13th? All of that feels like slapping existing IP on an idea to make sure it sells tickets. Common enough practice, but does that really feel like how a revival should be done? Not really. But at the same time, I don't know what else could be done. This movie franchise, despite being one of the films that pioneered the wave of slashers that followed, feels a bit too played out to me. Like, I know they are apparently developing a prequel show called Crystal Lake, and maybe a legacy sequel as well, but I don't see the point. What I really wanted to say with this video is not every IP needs to be constantly milked. The latest Exorcist is proof that not everything needs a comeback. We don't need to keep trying to modernize the past, mining every good movie until there's nothing left. Maybe I'm wrong about Friday the 13th, and you can tell me if I am, but even if I am, I still think overall what I'm saying on franchise and IP fatigue is real, and you can't really deny it, it's everywhere. 
Thank you for watching this one. It's a quickie and I hope you enjoyed it. It's not the video I teased at the end of my last one. This stuff has just been on my mind and I felt now was the best time to muse over these movies and the industry as a whole. That synergy, baby. Anyways, like and subscribe if you haven't. I got one more horror video coming out at the end of the month, so be ready for that. And until then, have a good one.